2018 BMW M5 review. The AWD missile that'll make you look a hero. The BMW M5 may have gained an all-wheel drive system and even more tech, but don't go thinking it's gone soft on us. There are two 2018 BMW M5 S currently lapping Autodromo do Estrela in Portugal, and there's a stark contrast between what's going on in the cockpit of each. In the striking BMW M livery pace car in front there's Martin Tomczyk, a former DTM champion you'll currently find in the Petit Le Mans series, usually milling around the various steps of the podium. He's calmly giving instructions over a radio while effortlessly throwing his F90 M5 around and making everything look very easy. In the car behind him is me, palm sweating into the leather steering wheel, forgetting to swallow, digging deep into my limited track driving repertoire just to cling on to his back bumper, and currently, understeering. Granted, some of the my shoddy lines and occasionally somewhat off entry speeds aren't helping. But there's a definite tendency for this all-new N5 to wash what coming out of tighter corners. It felt on the whole rather neutral on the road earlier on today, but with the room and lack of speed limits enabling me to explore the limits of what the chassis is capable of, I'm washing wide. BMW, 2018 BMW N5 Review, the AWD missile that'll make you like a hero, features. Going all-wheel drive has spoiled the fun I can N5, then, thankfully, I can report a hearty hell no to that. The last couple of laps we've been using one of the M5's two configurable M modes, preset for attending journalists with most elements of the car, the steering, suspension and so on, turned up to sport, but with the all-wheel drive system left alone. Partway through lap 3 though, I get the call from Tomok on the radio to switch to M2. Shifting is now done manually, ish. With the steering wheel mounted paddles, everything's in sport plus. The ESC interference is turned down to the minimum, and, crucially, we're now in 4WD Sport. As in the standard 4WD mode, the amount of torque sent to each wheel constantly varies depending on myriad factors, but in the sport setting, much more is generally shoved to those 285 with Pirellis at the back during hard cornering. And that's a very good thing. BMW, 2018 BMW M5 Review, the AWD missile that'll make you like a hero, features, I discover this coming into turn 3 a little too hot, the back end giving way just enough to warrant a little bit of counter stair, but not so much that a code brown occurs all over these magnificently supportive grey bucket seats. This sets the tone for the next few corners, the rear bias is noticeable, exploitable, and tremendous fun. There is a 2WD mode that does exactly what it says on the tin, albeit with all electronic aids turned off entirely which unfortunately we weren't given the chance to try. That's something to try another day, perhaps somewhere with more runoff. The other big change here is the gearbox, gone is the 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox, replaced by a conventional 8-speed, torque converter-based automatic. BMW tells us it's partly down to it fitting better with the all-wheel drive system, and partly because the difference in shift time is so small that it's not worth making the car less smooth to drive at lower speeds and in stop-start traffic. BMW. 2018 BMW M5 Review, the AWD missile that'll make you like a hero, features, for the most part, you're not going to notice the gearbox, and that's a good and bad thing. A good thing because it generally won't do anything irksome in auto or manual modes, and a bad thing because at no point will you be thinking my, this swaps cogs rather nicely, doesn't it? It's just not quite as crisp on the upshifts or downshifts. But we are talking about small margins here. The engine on the other hand isn't new. At least not entirely. It's best thought of as an evolution of the F10 M5's 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. Here making 592 bhp and 553 pounds FT of torque. About the same as some of the final, limited run versions of the outgoing M5. Although all F10 is were thought to be more powerful than advertised. It wouldn't surprise me if it's the same case here. Off the final corner and onto the start-finish straight, the F90 gathers pace at a frightening rate, with the speedometer tickling 160 mph. The breaking point for